Our next caller is George from North Carolina. Hey, what's up, George? How can we help you? Hey, guys. Uh, well, thank you for allowing me to ask a question. Very grateful here and love you guys' show. I've been listening for a long time now. Thank you. Nice. I uh, just wanted to go ahead and ask. Um, this question is actually on behalf of my wife. Uh, she is pretty much my workout partner and she works out with me consistently or did before COVID. So I just wanted to get her a little bit help here. So she pretty much has worked out in a uh, hypertrophy setting for a few years now and also just constantly going in between uh, you know standard calories and a calorie deficit. So I just wanted to get your guys' opinion and help uh, her moving forward to really get over that mental aspect of increasing the calories to be in a quote unquote bulking stage and then also to focus really on building strength then instead of just trying to work out to you know, look a certain way. Yeah. What, so what was the name, Sal, of the episode that we did uh, just recently? Was it called Why Women Should Bowl? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, we just she, did it. We did a whole thing like perfect for her. If you haven't heard that already. That's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Have her listen to that episode because the whole episode was dedicated to why women should bulk or the benefits of bulking. Maybe Doug or Andrew could look up what one that what number that was. I know we did it in the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I mean, obviously, look, here's the deal. The, the benefits you'll get from from feeding her body to build strength is she's going to have a faster metabolism. It's going to make getting lean much easier in the future and much easier to maintain. Of course, more muscle means more curve. A lot of women are afraid of building muscle because they think it's going to make them look not feminine. This is not true, except in really, really rare extreme cases, building muscle just adds more curve. You have a rounder butt. You have better posture. You have a nice, tight midsection, um, a nice hamstring. So... Those are the, the benefits, but the, the problem is when you're communicating kind of to somebody who's got kind of a psychological issue with uh, a particular pursuit and you're trying to give them logic, it doesn't always work. So really I would say, and this, if she was my client, this is what I would do. I would say, okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to want you to take your scale and I want you to put it in the closet. You're not going to weigh yourself for the next two to three months. We're not going to weigh you at all. All we're going to focus on is how strong you are. That's the goal. Let's get you strong. Now at the end of two months or three months, then we'll test your body fat, we'll see your lean body masses, and we'll see what we've done within that period of time. But for the next few months, don't weigh yourself, and we're just going to focus on strength. And if she can just do that, that should be enough to get her out of that mental block. George, the episode number is episode 1565, so 1565. Um, and I would... I would really point her in that direction. We could sit here and give you all these like little one-liner tips, but I know how hard this is to convince. I mean, mm -hmm. the reason why we did that episode and and wanted to talk about it full of for a full hour was because it was one of the most difficult things for me to do as a coach. Rece getting a client, a uh, female client that uh, would come in and tell me, "Adam, I want to lean out or look this look a certain way." And I assess their their diet. I assess their what's going on with them. And you know, almost always, what I want to do is increase calories and focus on gaining and mm -hmm. quote unquote bulking. And that just scares the shit out of all yeah. of them. And it would it would be quite the process, uh, even as a professional, right? She she's coming to me, hiring me. I'm supposed to be the professional, so I can I totally probably know how you feel uh you know as the husband trying to convince your wife to do this and how challenging that is um so i would i would listen to that episode because we really unpack all of that and we we give all the points and the yeah, reason it goes it goes against like everything you hear in pop culture every kind of like magazine that you know women are reading mm -hmm. uh all the marketing out there that's just dog shit and so the, that that is something that we're always having to address uh you know with new clients coming in and, and having these type of goals so great episode to really uh you know turn her on to 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 understand uh you know better how how this will will really benefit her yeah and, and you know here's the deal too if she can do this for about two or three months usually at the end of that period they're convinced usually after you know 60 to 90 days you're showing them oh my gosh you're eating 500 more calories a day I just tested your body fat. It didn't go up, but you gained some muscle. You have a faster metabolism, or you got leaner. That sometimes that would, that would even happen. Wow, it looks like your body fat percentage actually went down, and you're eating more food, and you're stronger, and you feel good. 
Um, and oftentimes at that point they would say, okay, now I trust the process. It's just, they need that proof yeah. initially. And that's the hard, the first step is the hard. <laughs> I one. remember actually uh, even kind of lying and, and like uh, to my clients to get them to do this. When what I mean by that is <laughs> like, I would be obviously as a coach, I'm tracking all their calories. And so, you know, I, let's say I'm training Susie and Susie's eating 1500 calories. She's frayed to death of bulking and stuff like that. Instead of me even t- terming what we're doing as bulking or even letting her know. Did you give her a meal plan? And yeah, I just, <laughs> I, I just, I would add, I would just say, you know what? I'm, I really want to see if I add this to your diet, if you notice a difference in your skin and your mood and your hair and your energy. And I like, I would tie it to something totally different. And then I would just add a couple hundred calories and it could be like a, an, an apple and in, in 10 almonds or something. And I would just keep doing that incrementally until I've got to a point uh-huh. where I bump it to like you said like 500 calories say guess what we've done you know and then explain it i afterwards. tricked you yeah. yeah no yeah you know what i used to say i used to say this i would have these conversations and then i would look at them and i'd say look i'm going to ask you this one time to put your trust in me and i promise i'll never have to ask for you for your trust again mm. and that sometimes would work because i think at that point the person just wants to give up and give control to someone else uh, to some extent and that would work sometimes but i, I <laughs> Yeah, this, this I, I is feel tough. You, George. This is yeah, hard one. yeah, this is tough being the husband. You know your wife the best, right? Whatever <laughs> method that is. Gonna hey, work. hey, look, if she does, if she, by the way, if she starts doing this, you cannot compliment her enough. Okay. You got to encourage yeah, totally. what's going on. So she starts to eat more. Yeah, she starts to lift. But, oh my God, honey, you look incredible. Wow. Look yeah. at your butt. My God, you feel so tight. Just to kind of you know make her feel good about no the changes. that's a, that's a great point because the next hurdle you know that you would have as a, as a coach or in this case you know uh, you know workout partner is then she does start to build a little bit of muscle and but then clothes might start fitting a little tighter yep. and, and right mm-hmm. away they start freaking out like oh my god my jeans don't fit I, I told you I did not want to do this stupid bulk and now I'm getting fatter or yeah. bigger and they it's mm-hmm. like and so Sal's point is so on point you have to. At, you know, c- continue to reassure that you you love the way her body is mm-hmm. shaping up and Which changing. Look, definition. You're right, right. So make sure you are complimenting through that process because you know once you do finally convince them that it's smart and a good idea for them to bulk, then they start doing it, and then the next thing they do is start saying like, "Oh my God, my shirts mm-hmm. or my pants or something's yeah. fitting tight. I'm, I'm getting yeah. too big." Be then, a little manipulative. <laughs> yeah, that's all. <laughs> a little. Not a- Awesome. Good advice, guys. And yeah, I definitely did listen to that episode. I pointed her towards that one uh, as soon as it came out because I just knew how beneficial and how it made me think about things uh, differently. I was a trainer in a big box gym for a year before COVID happened. And I just realized that most of the women clients that I had, they were listening to me over listening to any of their other family members. So that was my main reason for reaching out to you guys is oh, just yeah. to, you know, get an answer from an outside source because being the husband, you know, I can only do so much before that's true. Before she tells me to go away. That's, <laughs> that's true. That's what's it, what's, man. what's her what's your wife's name? Uh Kirsty. Kirsty. Christy or Kirsty? K-I-R-S-T-Y. All right, Kirsty, this is Sal from Mind Pump. I know you know who I am. You listen to my podcast. I want you to bulk. Do a slow bulk for about two or three months. Focus on strength. Don't weigh yourself anymore. Trust me, it's gonna yeah, work. You Watch got what this. happens at the end. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Is there any uh, specific program that I should point her to? I, I have anabolic. I was thinking maybe that would be a that, good one. That, that's perfect. That, that's ideal. That's right the there. one. Do that. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks, George. Boy, that's a hard one. I tell you. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's that's a hard one as a as a trainer and I a know. coach. I mean, that was let that, alone your husband. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's. A, I mean, it, I it took me over three years before I could even get a hold of Katrina's diet and, and training. You know, even even with all my experience, her knowing me, seeing everything that I'd done in fitness, yep. uh, I didn't even touch that area because it's it's just tough when you're when you're the family when you're in when you're inside that. What is what's that? What's the saying, Doug? Hard to be a prophet in your own. What's the in your own country? Yeah. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough one. <laughs> 